Welcome back everyone to our Italian Citizenship FAQs and today we're going to talk about an online application and something which I think is very important is that many people feel that they can go to Italy on vacation and be able to apply for their citizenship and this is just not the case and um, the law states that you must reside in Italy in order to be able to apply there. Um, you must stay for the duration of your application, which is normally a process that takes about a year um, in order to, to get everything from beginning to end accomplished. <clears throat> it's concerning that I'm hearing that several, that there are providers out there that are telling people it can be done in one month. So I do highly encourage you, if you're hearing this from someone, to vet that person. One thing you do not want is for the government to come back later and say, you didn't stay, you weren't a resident, you don't have a right to citizenship, and take your citizenship away from you. And that has happened in certain situations where um, organizations had agreements illegal agreements with some mayors, especially um, an organization in Brazil years ago. They had um, illegal agreements and all those people who applied for citizenship in those towns, you know, not actually having come to Italy, not having followed the residency requirement, sometimes not even having the correct paperwork and not being eligible, had their citizenship taken away. So that is something that you, you don't want to happen. And because of situations like that, the Questor, the state police in every province are watching these, these things carefully to make sure nothing like that is brewing in their province. Now, prior to COVID, um, there was, you know, some ability to do that. Um, some providers had sort of handshake agreements or with certain mayors. Um, and that has its good points and that has its bad points. Yes, it was, you were able to speed some things up for a while, but the mayor also had no legal reason to do anything for you. So if they decided they were going to take three years with an application, you had no legal standing uh, in order to, you know, get the application moving. So it's always best to abide by the law. Um, actually do the residency, stay in the country, and in that way you can be assured that nothing is going to happen to your citizenship at the end of the process. Some people, um, post-COVID especially, they have put into place more electronic monitoring systems. Um, the, the region and the province are more involved in these Italian citizenship applications on site they can see electronically where each application is in the process. And the inaugurator has reporting, must report to them when each step, each application goes through, um, you know, major steps in the process. Some people, because Italy lacked a proper system to track visas, were coming to Italy and submitting their applications and then going in and out of the country over, over the time that it takes to, to get the application ready. This is no longer going to be possible when Italy implements a, a new visa monitoring system, which is supposed to come in in November of 2023. Um, because the law states you must stay in the country during, during your application uh, process, you can go around the country, travel around the country as much as you want, but you must stay um, within Italy. In emergency situations, you could ask the requestor for emergency <clears throat> permission to leave. You say there was a death in the family or something like that, and it will be up to them whether to approve that or stop your application if you leave. So once this visa monitoring system is in, it's not going to be as easy as it was to go in and out of the country without being detected. And so they're going to automatically know electronically that you know, you've been out of the country three times during this process. That's one thing you don't want to happen. 
All right, that's all for this one. And there'll be some upcoming ones where we'll actually talk about the process, the details of the process, and the steps. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.